everybody, it's Amanda from scrimpingmama.co.uk and today we're going to make this totally cute little project. Um, it's a mini coffee cup um, and it's a little treat holder gift. Great for craft fairs, swaps, teacher gifts, co-worker gifts, etc, etc. Once it's finished you might place it in a cello bag, a gusseted cello bag or something similar, tie a bow around the top. So I'm going to show you how it's made. Um, it is inspired visually from there are loads of these over on Pinterest, lots of different ways of doing them. So I did see it visually but I have, as you can see, done my own working out for the measurements specific to fit these little cups. And I did get mine from um, Asda in the UK, over in the section where they have like all of the party wear, all the paper plates and things like that. And you get 10 for a pound. 99p I think they were. Now, before we start, I have uh, two tips for you, and that is two templates that you'll need. Now, I'm going to make loads of these, I'm going to go and buy some more, and I'm going to make a lot of these. So what I've done is, to make my life a lot easier, I have sacrificed one of the cups to make a template. Um, so what I've done is I've got one of the cups, I've, I've cut it down the middle and I've taken the bottom out. Now what this will do is this gives you a template to then draw around. If you just draw around it um, with a pencil, okay, all the way around. And then you would cut that out, leaving a, an extra, maybe, you know, uh, just a tiny bit extra on the edge so that you can wrap that around your cup and it will fit perfectly because these are shaped if you just used a straight strip like that it wouldn't wrap around because you know the shaped. so now you've got the exact perfect shape just remember i'll just in fact i'll just cut mine out so i've drawn around with pencil here so I'm cutting it out but I'm just going to leave a lip there so that it you know you've got a little extra to uh, overlap and glue so my lines actually there and I'm just adding maybe an extra quarter of an inch on and then that gives you the basic shape it might not be perfect but it'll be a lot better than trying to stick a straight strip around that shaped cup you, it's just not going to work okay and then the second template that you should make yourself to make your life easier <laughs> is a two inch circle because that is the size of the hole that you're going to need to sit your cup in um, for these cups that I have anyway. Now by doing that, what you can do then is you get your piece of cardstock. Let me just move that template. And we're cutting this to 11 inches by two and three quarters. I've rounded both of those ends to make it nice and neat, okay? And then we have scored here at half an inch, three and a quarter inch, three and three quarters, and six and a half. Okay, so I've already pre-scored these. All right, and then I will, all of the measurements and all of the scores and all of the details are over on my blog at scrimpingmommy.co.uk. So your hole wants to be in this square here, which is right next to that half an inch score, okay, because then it's going to fold up like so, that's going to attach on the back, okay. So you want a hole here. Now the way I've done it is I've turned it over. I've got my two inch circle template and I can line that up by eye so that I've got a nice even space so it's as central as possible, okay, that's pretty, pretty central, draw around it and if you follow this tip you will end up with a well positioned hole and if you're doing it in bulk, if you're doing a lot of them, it's just going to save you a lot of heartache and making mistakes then you get your two inch circle punch and you line it over your draw where you've drawn that circle and then you know that it's going to be in the right place okay you can save that for later might use it for something okay then we're going to very easily just idea that flap to the back of there Okay, so I'm putting some 
adhesive there. You can use what adhesive you like. And if you just fold that over, it should just go straight down and then that should just pop up like so. Okay, so that's your basic treat holder. And your little cup, where's my other spare cup? Let me get another one out. Your little cup will sit in there neatly and nicely. Okay, so to decorate it, we need a piece of DSP for the back that measures three and three quarters by two and a half. So let me do that now. Um, where's my trimmer? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, so three and three quarters. Let me just trim that. Uh, two and a half by three and three quarters. I'm, gonna go there. I'm just using up my scraps. Three and three quarters is there. Okay. And because I've rounded this, I'm going to also round my DSP. Super simple. Um, wet glue. I'm using all his bright DSP, um, which is one of the new ones. And the cardstock there is... Uh, shaded spruce which is a lovely new colour okay so I can lay that on there now okay like so super simple and then as I told you about the template I can now glue that onto my little cup so I'm just going to put glue all the way around and glue that on there and oops got it all over me just give it a chance to dry and as you can see that has just layered over perfectly because we've used the template um, if you've got a little overlap you can trim it off at the bottom and it doesn't really matter I've forgotten to rub out my pencil there but never mind a bit more glue there just hold that a minute and then glue down at the back there. Okay. When that's dried later I'll rub that pencil mark out. <laughs> I will go back and do it. So there's my little cup done and that fits nicely in there like so. Okay and then it's just all about decorating. So I'll just move my template out of the way. Don't forget all of these measurements are over on my blog. It is up, it is live. I've double checked them within an inch of the live, so hopefully they're all, they're all right. Now another thing that you can do here is you can add a belly band there or a pocket on the back and you can put gift cards in there. Um, that's another idea, okay? I've not done that with these ones. So, how did I decorate it? Let me have a look. <laughs> See if I can remember. Um, so, I need some wistful white card, which I've forgotten. Have I forgotten to get some? One second. My wistful white card. And I've picked Candy Cane Season and Signs of Santa. Okay. So... I'm going to first of all make the candy cane and I'm cold, I'm really cold today, I'm shivering. <laughs> I'm using shaded spruce and poppy parade, these are my Christmas colours. These are what I'm going to be using this year instead of just real red and um, I think last year red emerald ember. So these are my Christmas colours. So, first of all, I'm going to make one of the Love Like Candy Canes, which are awesome. I love them. 
So you've got an outline stamp and then you've got a stripe. You don't have to use the outline if you don't want, but in my mind it just looks neater. So I'm going to layer that up on there. And then there is the matching punch. Okay, you don't have to stamp upside down, it will punch out the right way around. Um, so let's get some stamping done. So here we go. I'm in shot. <laughs> So let's quickly do the outline. Now you can use a precision precision stamp tool if you want, like your stamparatus, to make sure that you can line these up perfectly. Um, I'm not I'm not that fast. <laughs> I'll take that off a minute and put my striped one on. Okay. It's quite easy to line up by eye, if I'm honest. It's not difficult. Okay. She says, watch it go wonky now. There we go. There we go, see? If I can do it, you can. <laughs> okay, let's just move that out of the way. Right. And I've stamped it quite far over because I don't, I'm not bothered for the butt at this stage. I just want just the candy cane. So slip that over and it punches it out with a lovely white border, nice and even. Okay, there's quite a lot of stamping in this project. So move that to one side. What else do I need to stamp? I need to stamp my North Pole. One of these. It says official seal of the North Pole, and I'm I'm just I can't stop using it. I think it's a Okay, so I'll stamp that as well. I've got a selection of blocks here ready to use. So I'm going to stamp that there. And I'm going to punch that out with my one and three eighths inch scallop circle punch, just because it just adds a bit of fancy. Uh, there we go. Okay, and then is it the one and a half? Oh, I haven't punched that out very straight, have I? I think I'll do that again. I must have slipped. Don't know what happened there. Let me do that again. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of them videos where everything goes wrong, but never mind. Okay. There we go. That's a bit better. I don't know, I can't seem to be able to get that straight, but it'll do. And then a one and a half in the red. Okay, and then layer them up. Okay, like so. And I did put one on the lid, like so, and then one on the front. So let's do another one for the front as well. Let's see if I can punch this one out straight. <laughs> we'll have a try. Where's my punch gone? There we go. I don't think uh, um, I, I don't think I've fully woken up to the there we go. So that's that. And we'll do another red. Layer that up. Try and concentrate, Amanda. <laughs> I've got the attention span of a goldfish, me. Honestly, <laughs> I'm so easily distracted, it's ridiculous. Right, now, I stuck it to the lid. The lid has a little bit of an indent there, okay? So, how I've got around that is I have put two um, dimensionals, one on top of each other. Okay, so, there we go. So, one there, then take the... 
the doodah off and stick another one on the top and then the depth there will be enough for you to have that stuck in there like so okay and then this one's going to go on the front okay we only need one for that okay okey dokey there we go right let me just move that because i'm going to put my arm in it right so we can put our lid on our little cup and this goes on the front like so okay and yeah that's that bit done and then that sits in there like so okay so what do i need to stamp now now i want a little bow for my candy cane so i'm going to get the shaped bow there and i'm going to stamp that in poppy parade onto this uh, red card and I'm just going to stamp it there so you've just got a, you know you can just see the outline but I don't want it on whisper white I'll just shut that a minute so I don't put my hand in it get my punch out again and I've done it in, in you know in the corner as far away as I can so that I'm not wasting card stamping just line that up punch that out okay and then we're just going to glue that onto our candy cane so cute I love it just glue it on there like that okay and then could do with leaving that to dry really but when you're filming you don't have time for everything to dry and then we're going to add dimensionals one there and one here mm -hmm. i think this is a really cute project i'm going to make some for my team members for when we go to one stage I think with some sweeties in so then I'm just sticking that onto the corner there like so and then I'm going to do a little bit more stamping so I'm going to use the shaded spruce now on my sample I have stamped the little hollies okay so I've stamped this one here and I've used shaded spruce ink and shaded spruce card but then I fussy cut them so I'm not going to do that just now for the video or else I'll be here forever <laughs> we'll be here forever uh, <laughs> so that 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 part is not getting done right now but we're going to stamp the sentiment which says be jolly so it's this one so it's from the same same set again Add that to my little block. Okay. Stamp that on there. Like so. Let me just put this. Put the lid on because I'm forever putting my arms in stuff. And then I'm using my classic label punch. It's just easier than um, cutting it by hand. So that I know I've got straight lines, because I am literally blind. <laughs> literally. So I'm just going to trim it to size. I'm shivering. I'm absolutely, I'm going to have to go put the heating on. I'm absolutely frozen, although the sun is out. It is nice, but I'm just going to, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. The sun is out, but it is it's really it really has dropped. Summer is well and truly gone. I'm so depressed. 
I hate winter. I hate it. I don't care about leaves and, and autumn and I just want the warm and the sun me. I was born in the wrong country. That's what it is. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I'm just layering that on there now. Okay. It's splodged glue a bit, but it dries clear, so I'm not worried. And then I'm just going to trim that out by hand. By hand, if you're by hand, like it's some big uh, achievement, uh, being able to cut straight. <laughs> it is for me, I can't cut straight to save my life. Okay, let's have a look. That could do with just trimming a little bit more so that it's even. go that's better and then I did use dimensionals for that as well which are here my desk is just full to the absolute bursting with punches and bits of card that one there and that one there I'm going to be doing Lots of filming over the weekend as part of my hashtag 100 things. I need to step it up and do a bit more. <laughs> I not, don't feel like I'm getting through it fast enough. Right, so I'm going to add that there like so in the centre. Okay. In fact, probably because I've used the shaded spruce cardstock here, I won't put the... Um, the hollies that I've got here, I won't put them because you wouldn't see it, it wouldn't show very well because it's green on green. But using the red cardstock, I have used the hollies, okay. And then I did the for you. What, uh, which stamp sets that come from? It must be for you. It's this one, it's in this one. There we go, and it's a little teeny tiny one, and it's absolutely perfect. It's just the right size for what we want. Um, I'm just going to use the back end of this this block here. And um, what colour shall we have? Shall we have red to go with the green, or shall we have? Right, I tell you what we're going to have. We're going to have green. Where's my green one? Let's see ya. We'll have green. Okay, so for you, I'm just gonna do that there, really simple. Put that away. And then I think it's three quarters of an inch circle punch for this one. Yeah. Oop! That's nearly flew across the room, that. Um. Where's it gone? It's there. And I think we'll have it on. We'll have it on. We'll have it on green. We'll keep it coordinated. So then I want a one-inch green circle. Okay. Uh, and if you're making them in batches, if you know you you do ten of these uh, and do them all at once, um, and then you get. You seem to get through it quicker quicker when you do that. Okay, so that's that one. I'm stick it on a dimensional. That's slipped, I can feel it's moved. <laughs> oh. That's the only thing when you're filming, you don't have time for the glue to dry. Right, take the back off of there. If I can move my cold, wintry fingers. Oh gosh, I hate being cold, I hate it. Take me to the Caribbean. Right, stick that there. <laughs> We're nearly getting there. We're nearly getting there. So now I'm adding my little cup to there. I've filled it with treats or whatever I want. And then we're just going to add some lovely ribbon. And we're going to use this one. Because it's really nice and easy to tie. And because I'm shivering and I'm cold, I bet I can't tie a bow. And this is um, a mixed satin ribbon, three eighths of an inch. And I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of got a pattern to it. 
um, like one half of it is striped and one half of it is like woven. It's really, really lovely. So I'm going to cut a length, I'm guessing, about that much. And this just adds a little touch of luxury and it also makes sure your little cup don't fall off. You can um, attach a glue dot underneath there if you wanted. Okay, sit that on there like so. Bring it up. Oh, I'm, sh I'm cold. <laughs> I'm freezing. Right. Oh, God, blame it. I don't think, in all honesty, we've had the heating on since we moved to this new house because the weather in England this summer has been so wonderful. Um, we've been here since May and we've not had the heating on yet. So, there you go. Okay, so we've tied, I've tied it in a, a, a knot and then in a knot again to, just to make it easier for tying that bow with my cold, lifeless fingers. So, <laughs> oh dear, the satin ribbon is theoretically easier to tie bows with. It's more flexible and soft um, and it's more willing to go into a nice shaped bow than some of the thicker woven ones. <laughs> I'm leaving it like that because I will mess about with it forever. So there you go. There's the general idea. I hope you like it. I had real fun making them. Um, and uh, all of the measurements are over on my blog, scrimpymummy.co.uk. Go and give them a try. They're awesome fun. See you soon. Bye.